Hi everyone, it's Heather Man here again and thank you for joining me on yet another YouTube video. I am joined at my house with an amazing guy, an amazing student and a very good friend. This is Enrico. Hi guys, thank and you. Thank you and of course he's got my little baby Cox and he is very friendly with Coco so Coco is going to sit with Enrico so I'm kind of jealous. But uh, the reason I've got Enrico in today is, well, we were talking about his progress. Now, how long have you been a student with me? Uh, about 14 months. 14 months, okay. And had the interesting thing, this is, a, the reason why I do these YouTube videos is because I have such great feedback from you guys because you love hearing what it takes from a student point of view because it's so much I can say. I, I really am a big believer in, you know, I'm only going to be able to bring you to that point but what really, really inspires students is um, like aspiring students are past results from students who've gone through their journey and especially students like Enrico who've never ever um, traded before. Is that right? Yeah, that's true. And what made you want to be a trader? Um, I really got inspired by you know coming to one of your courses and I actually I went to another uh, event and then um, at the end of the event uh, you know there was a session with you and I was like that's it that's what I want to do and uh, it was you know when you have like clear um, you know you get inspired and you're just like okay I, you know you just know so, so he went he guide who was guided by your intuition would you say that yes okay because yes, he was just I guess he came with one thing that was really good about him was that um, Enrico came in to one of my introductory events and he came with just an open mind of I want to improve my life. Would you say that was yeah. fairly accurate? Yeah. yeah. Um, so a lot of people don't know if trading is for them and I always say to them you don't know until you try it or until you come to at least an event or a taster session where you can really and that's why I do those events because I don't expect everyone to just jump into it in fact I don't want that I want people to really have a feel for me see what I'm about how my philosophies are and if they resonate with you and luckily I find people like Enrico that we resonated and he was completely on a high level and this guy's amazing why because his energy is so good like you can tell them um, like how you well first of all let's get step by step so when you, you'd never learned to trade before and then you you went through the training how did you find that process that was amazing actually what I, what I found really interesting is like the way you explain the concepts that were really clear for someone who didn't have any background in Forex whatsoever okay. and you know for someone who hasn't had exposure to, to Forex you know can, can be quite scary yeah it can be daunting um, yeah. So I, I was really impressed, you know, by the way you you, you explain the concepts and uh, you know and especially um, the psychological component that was so important for you and something I am still learning from you. Yeah, amazing. So that's the good thing about Enrico. He's a student that will never settle. I he wants to keep going from this level to the next level to even higher. So. He comes to all my events, uh, even after he's learned it all, he's back again and again and again. Would you say that's pretty accurate? Yeah, yeah. it's always a pleasure and there's always something um, you know, new to, to learn. And I always go with the attitude that, you know, I don't know it all. There's, there's always, you know, the moment you think that you know it all is that when you really don't know. When you're finished. Yes. In my, <laughs> and that's a philosophy I really am strong about. I am personally like that. Um, I believe in that myself and luckily my students have also, I mean, Enrico's definitely like that. He's a very impressive individual. So let's see, um, in the last 40 months, what percentage return have you made? 11%. Um, 11%. 11%. Just and that, for a first time trader who's not gone through any of this madness before, um, and it's a pretty mad year, isn't it? The first year can be quite. It was, yes. Yeah. How? What was the biggest challenge you've had in this year? It's dealing with the uh, the roller coaster of emotions, and uh, like even for someone like me, always you know, I always work on myself. But as I said, there's always something to learn, and having to confront myself with emotions that I didn't know I have, and I what initially. Kind, like um, you know, uh, you know the full spectrum because maybe you know I tend to be quite balanced. Okay. So I had to learn, you know, so both this when pushes I was, you yeah, to the boundaries. Yes, both when I was winning and losing. Yeah. So like always, like learning how to refocus and always find the, the balance. No matter if you're winning or losing, just keep the focus, follow the rules. You know, do your and stay grounded. Yes, stay grounded. And that's very impressive because I had no idea that Enrico was ever 
worried, scared, like having a tough time. Why? Because he was so good at anchoring himself. Now, if anyone's worked on themselves before or have had any kind of spiritual development in their lives, they will understand. I think Coco's, by the way, trying to run, jump. Should I take him? What are you doing, Coco? We're trying to talk about very important things. So anyway, he wants to transfer. He likes to like, he, he likes best of both worlds. So anyway, you can get back to Enrico in a second. Um, so yes, where were we? So the good thing with Enrico was that he was so grounded. So I had no idea when you were stressed out. I mean, he would come to me and ask me questions, and that's very important. So when he wanted the help, he was he didn't hesitate. Now that's a problem I see with some students. They don't ask and they make mistakes over and over and over and over. And then I, I, I don't know if I don't know and um, I can't help them. So he asked me if he had any questions. But the one thing that was so outstanding with this guy was that he never ever kicked up a fuss. It was negative. There was zero negativity in Enrico. Um, such that um, I was very impressed. So how did you do that? Yeah, I think it's uh, one one of the you know very important takeaways from from your teaching is that um, you know you you have to take responsibility for for your results and whatever you do, whatever results you get, you you produce those results, yeah. and they're a reflection of of your you know your psychology. So um, by knowing that, there was no excuse and say don't what I learned is like don't blame other people. Yeah, you have the rules. They're clear because you've explained them very clearly. Yes. Um, and you just need to be consistent and keep on working on yourself. And you know, uh, no matter what happens, just you know, keep on working on yourself. Amazing. So that is a very big tip. If I had to give you one thing, I would tell you to take away from this video is exactly what Enrico said: work on yourself first, and then the results will become a byproduct. Effectively, it doesn't happen the other way around. A lot of people focus on, I just want the money, I just want to, you know, they get rich quick and Enrico was definitely not one of those because he understood what I was trying to achieve with my mentorship, etc. on my training. Um, would you say, what would you say to people who want to get rich quick and want to trade for that reason? Oh, I would say, you know, you're very, we're very transparent in, in your teaching to say, you know, this is not one of those courses where, you know, people tell you, you know, you, you get rich quick. You have and to there's buy a lot yourself. of those people on there. Yeah. And there's this, you know, you have to be consistent, you have to work at it all the time. And yeah, there's, there's no overnight success, you know. Yeah. And you know, what you see as an overnight success, there's, behind that there's this, you know, so much time spent in, you know, practicing. And, yeah, exactly. And it's not easy, so people, it, but is it worth the journey? It is. It is. Because you think it's just about forex but it, you know really affects every area of your life and yes, you you discover other things and you know you, you starting with, with forex then i discovered other things in my path that are actually transforming contributed to, to my transformation and they are very different from from forex but i i can you know i acknowledge the the big component the effect that this that's has perfect i mean because when i and I'm sure you remember when me saying this when I was talking about the Forex training. I said the reason I personally love Forex so much is because it transformed me. I, the t kind of characteristics you need to develop to be a good trader, it will resonate in all areas of your life. And then you start doing new things in your life. You can take up, you can take up new skill sets that you thought you'd never do before. And this is what I love to see. When I see, in fact, a good measure of how I predict someone's success is I look at my students, a whole panel of them, and I think who has transformed the most? I, who is transforming? And that will 100% correlate with they're making money. They've got to be making money in trading because if they're not progressing in their life overall, they're not making any progress in trading. Because trading, when you become a good trader, you become good at life, I would yeah. say. And I mean, Enrico's testament to that. So tell us what changes you've had in your life and how it's as in like how, what are you doing? He's got some amazing stories. So what have you been up to in the last 14 months? How has the whole process pushed you to new? new yeah, I, 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 sorry, I, I discovered like other passions like sculpture and writing and you know, uh, the how important it is for me to also, uh, apart from self-realization, which is obviously the first thing, but yeah, also okay. uh, put my, my gifts, my skills in you know, service to other people. Um, and but obviously I'm you know I'm continuously on, on the journey to first you know realize you know who I want to be how I want to develop and yeah. get in touch with my creativity. So you know forex is not just uh, you know the, that psychological component is very important to uh, really get to know yourself and you know really kind of expand all the time and and, and discover other things. 
Amazing. So, I mean, that's amazing. So, again, another thing you can t take a tip from Enrico is um, how to be a good trader is really work on yourself and then see it transforming your life in all areas. And what was I going to say that was really important? Um, it will come back. It has been doing this for a while. I keep forgetting things. But what was Enrico? Yeah, because you he's going to write a book. Oh, this is what I was going to say. A good leader, and I, I always always tell my students this that i'm not here to make you followers or like you know uh you're not going to be we're all students of life me included i am the biggest student i constantly am learning constantly i'm like looking for new ways to improve myself and that's what i tell every, anyone i mentor uh, that i don't want to create followers i want to create leaders and Enrico is that you're now becoming a new type of leader and he wants to now his his level of learning and understanding of in lots of things. He's a very spiritually aware individual. So those people who thought that traders and spirituality don't go together, how wrong were they? Yes, yeah? indeed, yes. It's a big thing. It's This is testament. This guy's like the most spiritually aware student I've got. You know, he's, he's he teaches me a lot and I, I bow down to that knowledge. You know, he's immense. So just for those people who thought, oh, you know, I'm spiritual. I can't be a forex trader. This is too Wolf of Wall Street. There's no Wolf of Wall Street here. This is like amazing this is a way of life when you take trading in this way you will be at a different level and he becomes a, he's a leader in his own field and you watch what he's going to get up to i i believe i can see something like pretty good going to happen with you because he's going to teach people what he knows in the spiritual realm or whatever however you want to describe it but it's very powerful so he will help others inspire them like he'll inspire them to be better and that's something i'm very proud of to see in my students so yeah, and I think, you know, for me, it was, it was the surprise element because I never thought that someone like me could do Forex because, you know, it's you, you have to have a an open mind in general about, you know, in life, about what you, you try and be curious. And, you know, I, I never knew that I was going to like Forex and it, yeah. it taught me so, so much. Amazing. So don't take yourself out of the game if you're thinking about, I mean, this is why I like doing these videos with someone. Like, if you feel like there's a little bit of Enrico in your life, as in like, if you can resonate with Enrico, this guy's amazing. So if there's an element of Enrico in you, then Forex is for you. Because I personally, I'm always a standard. The kind of caliber of students I get, um, I wouldn't have thought. I don't, I have no pre, I have no assumptions anymore, I, I can't predict who's going to be a trader, who in the room will take it up as a, as a real newfound skill, because all walks of life, it applies to, mm. yeah. So what would you say to people um, who are thinking about trading, what would you say to them? Yeah, try it out, and I mean, Heather he is, is amazing at explaining like what apparently seems like really, really complex into very simple concepts, very clear. And it's actually very difficult to make it simple, you know, the way you, you simplify. I guess so. Yeah. And um, and it's um, it's it's cool. It's fun, and it's it will teach you a lot, like really a lot. Yeah. And then let's talk about how the trading mechanics work. I what time do you trade? I trade early in the morning, so what you have time? to have five thirty in the morning. Okay. And you have to have discipline. It doesn't matter if I go to bed at midnight or two a.m. for him. I, at 5.30 I wake amazing. up. That's yeah. amazing. And how long does it take you? Oh, just 15, 20 minutes. So yeah. it's not the end of the world. You know, people think you have to trade for hours and hours of the day. And after that, he does what he, that's why he's got, you know, he's, he's doing so many things. He's got his um, job that you've got that he's passionate about and he can change it about in different ways. Then he's got, uh, he's doing art, sculpt, sculpt, sculpture. Um, so many things. He's going to write a book. He's going to be, a leader in his field, which I won't reveal too much because he can do that himself very shortly. Um, so yeah, amazing. So the lifestyle is always, and he's always on holiday, by the way. <laughs> Every time I message him, um, he's always Facebooking me from somewhere or, you've been to a few holidays, haven't you? Last year, this year? Yeah, I've already. been to Africa and um, I've been to Bangladesh for work, but I combined um, you know, some time off. Yeah. Uh, I've been to Spain, to Italy and yeah. Amazing. So this is the kind of lifestyle you can have. So if you've never done it before, if you thought trading was not for spiritual people, Enrique's proved you wrong. And if you thought that it's only trading, then again, Enrique's proved you wrong because it reflects all your life. Yeah. 
And first time trader, first year, 11%. And that's after I told him to taper down the risk, you know. So, like, he's very safe. This is very safe trading he's taken. So, um, what, what else would you say to him? You know, I mean, he's at, always at my events as well. So, if you guys are going to come to any of my events, which I hope you do, because this is where you get to meet the students, like, on Wico. He's been there all the time, always learning something. Why do you keep reattending? Just out of interest. Because there's, I always learn something, or you know, because uh, you know, you're obviously also evolving all the time, and yeah. you know, I never you, say the same thing all the time, by the way. No, so you learn more. I learn more when I come from you, and it's, yeah. it's always inspiring to to hear you talk, and uh, you. you know, you you are inspiring as a person, like like generally. Oh, appreciate um, that. And you know, I'm. I don't usually like everybody. I'm actually very. He is like, and, very and, high standard. And, and like and like you have a high standards yeah. as well. So I'm, yeah. you know and um, yeah. So I'm, I'm really found you know um, you inspiring. Amazing! I am so honoured. It's just amazing to have someone like Enrico, my friend, my student. You know, to be even. I don't even see him as a student anymore. He's literally. He's at my house, and I've said, look, open door policy for people like you. I really enjoy company of high caliber people, and he's very, very outstanding. Um, but yes, you're right. I, I am testament to exactly the same principles as you. I, I always want to learn, and therefore, I always appreciate when someone else reflects that. So thank you for coming to my events all thank the time. Thank you very much for having me. No problem. And he is always there, believe me. That he's like a really smiley, happy face always in the crowd. So if you do see him in the crowd, you know, or if you see him at any event, just call him, ask him questions. In fact, he'll be so helpful. He'll inspire you. He's just got that great energy. Some people have a great aura. This is Enrico. And uh, he's very well tuned with himself. He knows all the sort of... He knows human behavioral psychology to a very deep level you know i i feel like a beginner sometimes <laughs> so this guy's immense so watch out for enrico follow him on facebook if you can um and you know see what he's up to so hopefully see you guys at the event bye. thank you guys bye bye